get the show started and we all talked about the power of communication so I just really want to start with a quote every leader in every sphere from every part of the world possesses powerful language abilities you must be able to effectively communicate in a way your clients and colleagues can process learn and act we're going to start with a personal inventory. I want you to all be honest with yourselves, and if you want, just jot down with a pen. I want you to really think about it. We're going to do a scoring with a total of 15. Nobody is going to know the score except for you. Okay, this is not shared. Those of you who work together, don't worry. But I want you to take an honest inventory. And let's start with pronunciation. The other day, someone came to me and he said he scored himself a pronunciation of two on a scale from two to seven, a different one. He came in my office. His pronunciation was great. It was filler words, which we'll talk about later, that was terrible. So I'm just talking about articulating how clear your sounds are being pronounced. Do you tend to slur? Do you occasionally mumble? Or do you use clear pronunciation? Be honest, this is for your benefit. What about the rate of speech? I have worked with people from all over the globe. I have heard, in, in Argentina we speak so fast that we have to speak that way. I've heard, in Russia we speak fast, it's just the way we, we speak. I heard, I'm a New Yorker, we speak fast. There's no excuse. In order to be an effective communicator, you have to slow down. So. I'm often asked to slow down. Sometimes people act confused when I speak. I adjust my rate of speech depending on the content or purpose. So score yourself and let's move on. We're now going to look at volume. All of you got the opportunity to observe the others. That's one of the reasons I like to do this. I want you to hear if people are moving closer when you're speaking because they can't hear you, or they're sitting comfortably back because you have great volume. So, do people often feel frustrated when asked to speak up? I sometimes strain my voice to be heard. I know when to change my vocal volume. Obviously, the voice I'm speaking now is not the voice, the level, that I speak when I'm with you in a private office. We have to know how to modulate our volume. Intonation, the ability to change the pitch of my voice. I remember right before speaking here, I think two years ago, a gentleman called me and he said he couldn't make it, but that he was getting turned away from jobs because he had a monotone voice. The, the, the recruiter actually was telling him that that was the reason, that he just spoke like this and had no inflectional change, and that's really not a way to impact communication. So think about your ability to change. You need to clarify what's said, you get a point. It's not uncommon to be interrupted because people get bored, they want to get you going. I can easily engage my listener. I told you that every summer I have a trend. Last summer, this was my trend, but I have to admit it still goes on. It, it started then and it's just picked up steam. How many of you in your office are told, just get to the point, stop being so wordy? That was when it started for me last summer and it's continued ever on. So, are you a long-winded speaker? Does your boss or someone, a colleague say, just get to the point? Are you a occasionally unsure of where to pause, or do you have effective pacing? I want you to add it up honestly to yourself. I'm not going to look at this. If you gave yourself a 15 out of 15, fabulous. I promise you're still going to walk away with something. If you didn't, think about what that area is and think about how we can help and if I don't answer the questions, please make sure to come up to me after.